God who is my refuge, then the blessing comes. Then no harm will befall you, no disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you, you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra, you will trample the great lion and the serpent, and then... He goes ahead and reminds you. And this particular uh, verse from verse 14 to the end, I always encourage someone and tell them, put your name there so that you can actually personalize this and, you know, and, and, and take it and say, this is personally, you know, this is personalized as mine and I'm taking it because he loves me, says the Lord. I will rescue Sally. I will protect Sally for she acknowledges my name. She will call upon me and I will answer her. I will be with Sally in trouble. I will deliver Sally and honor Sally. With long life will I satisfy her and show her my salvation. Put your name right there. And proclaim that blessing for your in, in, on your life, and not because of anything else. Only if you adhere to the condition, and the condition being, Lord, I make you my dwelling. I surrender myself to you. I am ready. Mold me. Do whatever it has to take for me to be right with you. He's a jealousy God. You know, for us who are believers, this is a jealousy God. For us who are desiring to feel what Sally is talking about right about now, it is this God, our Father, that we call him the Most High, and we invite you to make him your dwelling today. And I believe and I trust and I confess, as I always confess and I believe, that he will never live your life to be the same ever again, as long as you make him the most high your dwelling place. So you ponder on that and let, may you run with this uh, psalm this, this week and confess of what the Lord is going to do. Even with the issues that you're going through, the challenges you're going through, feeling that the Lord is not there, confess and, com and continue to proclaim and receive the conditions that he has put after. You know, the condition and then and receive the blessing that he has put after you meet the condition. And may the good Lord bless you, keep you strong and honor him even as you go through the challenges. Only if you make him the most high, your dwelling place. Amen and amen. amen. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's powerful. And one thing uh, is that stood out near the The moment we mean a dwelling place is where... Unataka kuishi, like even forever. Yes. Where you are comfortable, where you have shelter, yes. you have food. Mm -hmm. And for sure, when ni done your God, mm. I believe where is lack, mm -mm. basic needs, mm -hmm. shelter. So yes. meaning where is hamiwa from uh, by the enemy, you can see where you are. Yes. Kinyesha bado uko. Uko sawa. Yes. Mm -hmm. Na ukitaka food, kuna jikoni bado. Yes. You get everything that you need True. To, to live, not mm -hmm. even to survive. Mm -hmm. And I thank God for that. Mm -hmm. kuna mtu anasema, kuna mtu anasema, morning, uh, kuna sema, barizenu, daktari wa spins, <laughs> <laughs> mkiwa na sali, daktari wa inspiration. <laughs> ameanza kukutafia wad, ameanza kuleta. Title. Sali, daktari wa inspiration. 